Hey guys, Scott here, and today I want to talk about my least favorite perk to go against as killer, and it is not the standard stuff that you would might think. Um, I, th I honestly think this perk is arguably the strongest perk in the game now that DS is getting nerfed, and it's not really agreed that it's pretty much a hipster opinion uh, because I think it's not very visceral, the reward that you get from it. So... Usually you would think like for this type of topic, it would be like, you know, decisive strike or dead heart or sprint burst, um, you know, adrenaline bar time, like all the, you know, the standard meta perks that we all know about. But I think Iron Will is the strongest survivor perk in the game. And it is, like I said, it's a far less visceral reward. So a lot of people do not think it is as strong as it actually is. But I want to go over why I hate going against it so much and why I think it is the strongest survivor perk in the game. Now, when I say it's the strongest, I don't mean like, oh my God, it's so much better than like, you know, Unbreakable and, and Dead Hard and stuff like that. I'm saying it's like 0.01% better. It might as well be on the same level because all those perks are so good. Um, I just think this is right up there with them. So the thing is, people don't necessarily think Iron Will is amazing because the rewards you get is not very tangible. For example, when you have Decisive Strike and you stun the killer, you see them get stunned for five seconds. You see the effort of putting the perk on effort. You see the reward of putting that perk on. Uh, when you dead hard, you get to a pallet in time. You don't go down because you made the pallet because of your perk. When you get adrenaline, you see yourself get healed and you watch yourself go faster. So all these meta perks have a very immediate reward that you can witness and see. But Iron Will doesn't really do that. Iron Will is just a passive thing and it's not so easy to tell that you're getting a reward for actually using the perk. And... This is why I think people slightly underestimate it. Like, don't get me wrong. People think Iron Will is a good perk. And it is, you know, obviously a, a good perk. I just think it's among the best. And I'm going to give an example of how Iron Will actually has more use than basically every other perk I just listed. So every good killer in the game relies on sound. Basically, as much as we rely on, like, visuals. It's Sound is, is so important. That's why... We get so pissed off when sounds are broken and, you know, there's like the slug bug where the survivors don't make sounds on the ground. Audio occlusion's awful. If they're one inch below you, they make no sound. So things like that are very detrimental. And, uh, you know, anyone will tell you uh, all good killers rely on sound immensely. And the main place that we rely on it is during the chase. Because during the chase, almost every single tile in the game has some form of line of sight breaking. Uh, you know, obviously there's like those short loops on Auto Haven. There's a couple of other ones where you can like see through it. But for the most part, every basic loop, every jungle gym, the shack, rock loops, like everything has some form of line of sight breaking. And during that line of sight breaking is when the killer can start trying to do a mind game to get a hit. For example, at a long wall, short wall, which is that loop where it's basically just a long wall and then a pallet and then like a little short square. Um, the correct thing to do for the survivor is drop the pallet. But if they don't drop the pallet and they try to loop it, the killer basically enters one side, and now you have two options. You can moonwalk back to the other side, the survivor runs into you, or you can pause and then reverse moonwalk, and the survivor will think you're actually trying to do the mind game. So there's a couple things that you can do there, and that's where the skill of killer kind of comes into play. And what helps us a lot is as we're doing this moonwalking, we can hear the survivor on the other side of the wall. And so we can basically gauge if our moonwalk is working or not. If we hear them start to be more quiet, we can go, oh shit, actually, I think they're just running away from the loop and then you ditch the moonwalk and then you just start chasing them and, and, you know, you, you leave the loop entirely. Or it'll give you an indicator of when to actually do the reverse. Or, you know, basically, the the sound, as soon as we lose line of sight in a, in a loop, sound is so vital to correctly positioning ourselves for like a, a mind game or something like that. Now, when you have Iron Will, it removes that. And basically, the only thing we have left are footsteps, which are inconsistent at best and can also be negated by uh slow walking for a second so pretty much what happens when a survivor gets out of line of sight we go from having a lot of information to basically no information so the survivor ends up having a massive upper hand every time line of sight is broken which is almost every loop like even like behind ash like these rock loops here um you're only out of line of sight for like, you know, two seconds, but that two seconds is what we need to hear of whether or not that you're going to keep running past the rock or I need to start moonwalking here or like, we need to hear where you are to be able to do, you know, a, a mind game correctly. If we can't hear that, then we're just basically just guessing at that point. And so this brings me to my point. 
in a scenario like this, let's say you had the perk dead hard and the killer moon walks you successfully. Oh shit. Well, you can still probably dead hard the pallet and still probably be okay. And you get your use of dead hard there. But that's one time for that entire chase. Iron Will is just always on as long as you're injured, obviously. It's just always something that you will have. And it's not like a perk you need to keep using. You, you can use it as many times as you want during a chase. But it's not something that you use. It's just there. So we don't actually feel like it's as big of a reward as it actually is. But I can tell you right now, I have lost more chases to, to Iron Will than any other perk in the entire game. And that is because of how reliant on sound killers are. And if you take that away from us, then we are basically guessing out of a lot of loops. And the small amount of distance I would have gained on you from doing a mind game at the right time because I hear you in a certain place, that little bit of time may be negated now because I can't accurately gauge where you are anymore. And because of that, I just don't find you. So that is how it adds up over the course of the match to like little things like that where I didn't down you with this loop down. Now you get to another loop. That's another 30 seconds that I just lost because of this little tiny distance that I didn't gain because of the perk. And that's just one of the benefits of it. Another one, obviously, is that you are just simply much harder to detect to begin with. Um, if you're injured, you're actually... Th this, is, this is the weird part. If you're injured, you're actually harder to detect now than if you were just healthy. Because when you're injured with Iron Will, you don't even make breathing sounds anymore. And breathing sounds are huge in this game. I don't know if you've ever stood next to a Fang or a Meg. They breathe very, very loudly. It's very easy to hear if you're being very attentive, it's easy to hear survivors breathing in this game. And I cannot tell you how many times I will find a survivor in a bush or behind a wall or camping a pallet or whatever because I hear them breathing on the other side of it. And that has gotten me so many, you know, discoveries of survivors. And if they have iron will, they don't breathe anymore either. They emit zero sound effects. Here, I'll, this is you know, where Ash comes in. I'll, I'll show you the difference. But I don't even think it's supposed to work like this, but it, this is just how it works. So here's Ash. Listen to his breathing. Pretty clear breathing, right? You can hear that. So after we've hit him, and now his iron will activates, and then the chase ends, you'll notice he emits absolutely no sound. He is just completely silent. So it actually becomes more beneficial to be injured because I can't, there's zero indication of where this person is anymore. So if you're a Claudette in a bush on Dead Dog Saloon and you have Iron Will and you're injured, I will not find you. Like unless I literally bump into you, you're invisible, both visually and audio or audibly. So um, that's another example of how Iron Will will um, get you a lot. And it's again, it's not one of those things that you really can tell very much like as a killer, you don't know that this Iron Will is messing you up because you don't know that they're there to begin with. So it's hard for a killer to acknowledge just how strong it is because a lot of the time that Iron Will has an effect on you, you don't even realize it's having an effect on you because you don't even notice it to begin with. So that is um, among the reasons why I think Iron Will is among the strongest perks in the game, um, arguably stronger than basically all of them now that DS is being nerfed. Um, before I would say DS giving you that minute of invulnerability kind of makes it the strongest. But now I think it's right up there with like Unbreakable and all the exhaustion perks. I think it is just as good um, because I can't think of another perk that has caused me to lose distance on chases or extend chases uh, in a more repeatable and efficient manner uh, than Iron Well. And it has a bunch of other benefits too that I, I can't even really think of right now. But that is my least favorite perk to go against in the game. Oh yeah, uh, one, more, uh, one more thing. When you think about the strongest thing that a killer can do like the strongest thing a survivor can do is bring four man survive with friends ds unbreakable adrenaline dead heart whatever like you know and that's the strongest thing they can do and the strongest thing a killer can do is what bring nurse or you know spirit with strider or something like that so the thing is iron will inherently counters the two strongest things that killers can do just by default your strider negates it a little bit but Strider is still, um, it doesn't negate Iron Will, it, it lessens it a bit. So it can still be kind of uh, hard to tell, especially if they crouch. If they crouch and they have, um, if you have Strider and they have Iron Will and they crouch, they still basically emit no sound because when you crouch, you make less sound. So um, it is still uh, definitely beneficial to have Iron Will against the two strongest things that the killers can bring to the table. So just by itself, it already counters the, the best thing. So it just has so much going for it, and it's, you know, people accept that it's a good perk, but I think it is, like, the strongest perk in the game. I can't think of another perk that I, I lose more chases to, 
And uh, that is basically it. I wonder if you guys agree or disagree. Like I said, it's not really one of those things where you can get the same visceral, re uh, visceral reaction that you get like from Decisive Strike or Dead Hard. But I do think um, thinking outside the box for accounting for times you don't even notice it, it is among the strongest perks in the entire game. And I fucking hate it. <laughs>